we are joined by two of the winning team, the player of the match, and Captain Lauren Winfield Hill, alongside your Phoenix Chantry, Laura. What an innings. How good did you feel out there? You are just battling like a dream in fair break. Yeah, it was good. Um, I think, yeah, like I just looked to take the attack to the bowlers and get us ahead of the game. Um, and, yeah, it was nice. I mean, it's not often I've all the way through, so it was good. And it was a really great partnership with, um, with Wolfie. I know she probably didn't get the headlines, but I think the way she contributed was, was crucial to the partnership and just being really ruthless and, and non-down. And did you think that that was going to be a chaseable target? Because that's the highest target the Barmy have ever chased. When they were, you had them really, you had a few down early and then they suddenly wrapped up to 160. Did that ever have you worried at the end of that innings? Um, not really. I sense Batesy, our coach, thought it was a decent, um, a decent total at half time, but I sort of... I think actually playing in the hundred and, and knowing the scores you can chase down in in a format like that has probably changed my mindset in in what's possible now. Um, so I certainly I knew that if we got ahead of the rate early and had a really good power play that we we should be able to chase that down and, and thankfully we did. And Rubina, Barmy Army are absolutely riding high at the moment. What's it like to be back with the army again this year? Uh, definitely, it's wonderful. Uh, so much of experience to learn from. So. Uh, players like Lauren and everyone, seeing them live is um, a dream come true for us and we can actually go back and tell our girls what to aim for and so that's what uh, it's wonderful to be back. And Fairbreak has had an amazing impact on your cricket and women's cricket in Nepal, hasn't it? You've sort of become these massive celebrities. I see it on the social media, Nepal are all in for Rubina. Um, what's it, what kind of effect do you feel like it's had? Uh, first of all, there are uh, the cricket is alive because of our fans. There are lots of fans following uh, cricket in Nepal, and for two of us playing here, all the country is watching, um, and that's like massive respect for us. And definitely, Fairbank has changed our life financially also, and that has made us more professional. And that is what we uh, try and tell our girls that if you play well, you'll get the platform. So you need to. You need to improve your game and you need to go further and practice hard and get to this platform. Yeah, well, you just, I think you're inspiring girls all over the world to play cricket and get involved. But I want to know what you have for breakfast, Lauren Winfield Hill, because I'm going to have it every day for the rest of my life, I think. <laughs> I just had scrambled eggs on toast this right, morning. Okay, so, noted. yeah. <laughs> noted, noted. Tomorrow, everyone that's is going to be eating scrambled eggs. There's going to be no eggs left. <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Um, and so, what's the plan for the army between now and your next game? You've clocked up two really good wins. You sort of stole it from the Falcons in the last one, and you've got really good energy about you. So, what's the plan next? Yeah, I just think um, we spoke about how you know, like coming back to the same venue, and it almost feels like you get on a bit of a treadmill of games, but just really separating each game. So, parking today and acknowledging some really good stuff that we've done, but then tomorrow's a fresh challenge against a good side. So I think it's just taking every game as it comes, sticking together, having lots of fun. You know, I think there's a lot of confidence because we've had lots of people contribute across the games. It's not sort of a one-man band or anything like that. We, we've really got lots of people putting their hands up at different times. So I think there's a really great vibe around the group. Um, obviously, back-to-back -back games, it's just about chilling out this afternoon and and coming out tomorrow, we don't have to get up as early, so that'll be that'll be nice for everybody. You'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be after me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just keeping it simple and just coming back with the same sort of attitude and energy tomorrow. Yeah, and just to finish off, Rubina, what's it been like to have Lauren come in as captain this year? Oh, so much, so much dream come true actually. Uh, being as a captain leading a side, obviously I'll try and learn many things from her. And I just notice whatever she does and just try to keep it on to myself so that I can go back and just uh, lay it down to my girls. So obviously it's like I've seen her watching in the YouTubes and TVs and seeing live. It's like <clears throat> I cannot describe in words, but definitely I'm going to learn many things from her more. Yeah. Unlucky today, guys, but you two batted so well in the middle. Let's talk about that one first. Suni, how good did you feel out there dispatching it to all parts of the ground? Yeah, not too great, actually. The wicket was a bit spicy. I don't know what wicket Lars played on. But, um, no, I think, you know, we, we were in a bit of a situation in the start. And I think Tash and I just wanted to get a partnership and take it as deep as we can. 
Um, and Tash, nice to be able to put some runs on the board in Hong Kong where you play your cricket. What's it like to be able to play for the Tornadoes at home like this? Um, yeah, it's really cool. I've never played in sort of a tournament in Hong Kong. I know the girls have, have done before, so it was quite nice to do it on home turf, as it were, and actually uh, have a contribution to the Tornadoes and bat with Sine. <laughs> um, and so, obviously, we've just been treated to a masterclass from Lauren. What were the discussions going on in the tornado side when she was just absolutely ramping along like that, Sine? Yeah, obviously, she gave us a chance up front. Um, and I guess against a world-class player like Lauren, you got to take those, otherwise she's going to take the game away. So I felt like we created that chance. Um, unfortunately, just couldn't take it today. But, you know, she batted extremely well. Um, like I said, she played on a different wicket than we did, and she made it look extremely easy. Um, and what do the Tornadoes take from this going forward into their next game, Tash? I think there's a lot of positives. We batted really well, you know, considering the position that we were in early doors, and we were able to take it really deep. And to put 160 was a really good score, I think. I think we've just got to... Um, come together in the field as a unit and really hit our lines and make sure that we're putting a lot of pressure on the batter straight up. And did you feel like you had enough at the end of your innings? I think towards the end, Sine and I said we were looking for 150, so getting us to 160, we were pretty comfortable. Um, and we would have thought that was uh, enough on the board, but uh, as Laura showed, she's world class. Laura and Eva. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so what's the plan just for the Tornadoes to try and sort of boost themselves back up between now and the next game? Obviously, last one was rained out. That's quite difficult. Did that affect today at all as well? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I think every game is played in new spirits and with a new game plan. I think obviously a quick turnaround with the game tomorrow. So we just got to regroup. Everyone needs to get a nice dinner, some good sleep, and then come back early morning tomorrow again and try and to get that first one on the board. Um, and Tash, obviously part of Fairbreak and it's joined up with Hong Kong. What's it been like for you to be part of Fairbreak and the organization last year and then this year as well, coming to Hong Kong and playing as part of this amazing organization? Um, I think it's been really cool. It's really special for associate countries, I think, and players to come and play against uh, you know, the, the full internationals and the big names and really learn from them. It's been great sort of taking the field with the likes of staff and Sine and Dene and learning from them and just getting out there and having fun. And Sine, what same kind of question to you. Like we talk about players all learning from each other and you the full nations learning from associates but then also vice versa. What's it like as an experience for you? Yeah, it's been awesome. I think just to hear like um, you know, the challenges going around in the associate nations countries as well. I think, you know, from a South African point of view, we started where some of the countries are now. Um, and I feel like just having conversations with them that, you know, there is hope, it's, it is going to become better. Um, you know, we in South Africa are still fighting the good fight. Uh, we're not fully professional yet. We're still fighting for it, all those things. So I think, you know, us in the associate nations can really learn from each other and just, you know, the work they put in um, with the resources they have as well. I think it's very inspiring to, to just see them play the game they love um, with whatever they have in their country.